Well, I hear you're doing uh, an experiment with your tomatoes this year. Yeah. Uh, in the past, I have just let the suckers grow. The suckers are a little growth that comes out between the main stem and the leaves that come out to the side. And it's, the, the sucker comes out between from the main body to the leaf. And it grows very rapidly and it will bear tomatoes. But uh, I've got four rows here. There are nine tomatoes in each row. And uh, I, I've taken, I selected this second row here to uh, break all the suckers off, not let them grow. And so uh, you can see that they, they have grown taller than, than the other tomatoes. Uh, so and they have some, a few tomatoes. I then then you, you uh, planted these two rows at the same time, right? Uh, very close, yeah, within, you know, just a couple of days or so apart. Okay. So uh, essentially they're, they're playing at the same time. And you see all the way down the road that these are, are growing taller. Now, of course, uh, the main thing we want is uh, fruit from the tomato vine. And we have some blooms and some small tomatoes. These were, these were planted about the um, last week in March. And you can see that these, these are big boy. I have some better boy planted in, in, some, in one of the other rows here. But these, these two are, are big boy tomatoes. And uh, they're, they're real healthy. And you, see, you can see they, they, they've grown taller than the ones that I didn't remove the suckers. So, so what, what, what might happen? What do you expect to happen? Well, well, I really, what I really want to find out is if where well, I have removed the suckers, if those vines will bear as many tomatoes as the ones where I didn't remove the suckers. So it'll be interesting to, to see. That's the first time I've done this. And so it was, it's just an experiment. And, uh, I'm and you've, you've been growing tomatoes in this garden for a number of years, so you know what you ex kind of expect. Yes, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've grown tomatoes for 40 years here, every year. So, uh, uh, and I've grown different kinds, different uh, determinate and indeterminate. Of course, these are indeterminate here. So we'll, we'll check back in a few months and see how this project's going. Right, that'd be interesting to see. And also, um, Maybe people uh, who are watching this video would like you to do a, a, a different type of test on your tomato growth. Well, yeah, well, it's, it's too late this year, but we can do next, <laughs> next year. <laughs> yeah. but, but they should go ahead and, and put a comment below or, you know, give a, send a comment to let us see what they would like to have tested. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll sort through the ones and, and pick, pick one or two of them we can do next year or even... If it applies this year, who knows? Well, one thing I have thought about is uh, if you let these, if you just let them grow, they'll, they'll get way, uh, they'll get eight feet tall. And I have to put supports on, on the cages here to, to keep them from falling over. So, so these cages are what, five feet tall? It's five inches. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, I'm thinking about uh, one, if I can bring myself to do it. When they get to the top of the cage, just cut them off and see what happens. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I, I don't know how that'll work. I, I kind of I'm reluctant to do it, but uh, uh, I will take a few, two or three tomatoes, maybe sometime in the future, and, and cut them off and just see what happens. Okay. Well, that might be some interesting feedback in the comment section for this video. Right. <laughs> cut them off or not. Right. <laughs>